Now that we have a pretty good understanding of some different ways to do things in logic, let's take a look at all of those different tools and I'll show you why I don't really use most of them. So once again, if we hit T, we reveal our tool dropdown. The eraser tool simply erases regions that we click. You can do this without having to switch tools by selecting with your pointer tool and pressing delete. The text tool simply renames your regions. I can do this with a key command, shift N. Notice I can rename more than one region at a time. We already talked about how the marquee tool can do the basic functions of the scissors tool, and the glue tool can be replaced by using the key command, command J for join. The solo tool solos out different regions that we select. This is replaced by solo mode. So now with my pointer, I can select multiple regions and I have that soloed out. Don't confuse this with track solo where we solo the whole track. This is just soloing the selected regions. The key command to enter solo mode is Control S. The mute tool lets us mute regions, but we know our key command for that, Control M. The zoom tool lets you draw an area and lets you zoom in on that area. We can accomplish this without switching tools by holding down Option and drawing a similar area. To bounce back, I hit Z. We already covered a couple different ways we can make fades without using the fade tool. These other tools have specific functions for automation and flex time. We'll get into those at later videos, but they actually do have a place.